right guys, so we got this 2014 Accord Sport and we're gonna be replacing today the fog lights, all right? So normally, all vehicles, usually you can get, go from either the bottom or through the back of the wheel well. But on this specific vehicle, you actually have to go, at least for the driver's side, you have to remove the actual fog light assembly to get to the bulb, okay? So on this one, what's gonna happen is that under the actual uh, bumper, you're going to find that there's two holes, all right? They're right next to each other. One of them, you're gonna stick a Phillips head, you just stick it in there, but you wanna go under the car. So the screw you wanna reach to allow you to remove the uh, plastic little bezel, you wanna, it's gonna be this one right here. Use this one to see through it so you can find where the screw is, and then use your screwdriver to go into it, all right? So it should be straight ahead. You'll find it right there. You're just gonna, once you lock, feel it lock, start uh, unscrewing it. And you don't need to remove too much, okay? Just enough to where this becomes loose. So you can see that it's already moving, okay? But it's not gonna come off that easy. So what you wanna want is get a trim remover. Start from the back. What you're gonna do is just start lifting, pushing forward, and it pops out, okay? So on this one, we've already loosened it. So what's gonna happen from here, if this is your first time removing it, is that once you pull it out, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. It's gonna be a bit stiff. So carefully, just push it towards this way until it unhooks and it comes off from here, okay? So that screw you loosen is the one that holds this part in place. So once you loosen that up, it pretty much just pull out, okay? And for the actual lens to come out, there's gonna be two screws, okay? There's gonna be one right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's gonna be one right there. And the other one's gonna be over there in the back. Right there, okay? So once you remove those, they will look like these ones. Okay, so just two of these, remove those, put them aside, and then just take your time, wiggle it out, and it pops out like that, okay? And then this is gonna be your bulb right here, okay? These use the H11s. So once you remove that, pretty much, you can get your new bulb. And for us, we're gonna be installing our LS H11s for the fog lights. So pretty simple. You're just gonna line it up. Lock it in place. You can check at the bulb right there. Make sure you have your chips facing left and right or nine and three o'clock position, and you're pretty much good, okay? So at this point, once it's all put together, just hook it up. Here it clipped in, you're pretty much done with that. And what we usually recommend is test it before you fully assemble everything, okay? So let me put this back in place, we just you can test it out. There you go, see? And you can see that you got it correctly because you can see right here, uh, the actual mounting holes are lined up, all right? They're flat and you mean you got it good, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna light it up, okay? There you go. You know it's working. You can see the difference right there. So we'll finish putting everything back together and then we'll jump to the passenger side, okay? All right guys, so like we were saying, for the passenger side, it's much easier. So first you wanna remove one one like push clip, remove that first, use your clip to pop it out. And then there's a little trap door here that you can just either pull out or you can just push it upwards. Either way will work. And you should be able to reach your fog light through here. Let me get your new bulb and do the same thing, just put it back in place. And this is the finished results. We have both the low beams and the fog lights replaced with our LSH-11s. It gives the car a whole new facelift.
And if you're wondering why the daytime running lights are white, it's because we actually replaced those and we have a video on that one as well. So you can check that out. So you can replace the used T10s and we've installed our 6K white uh, T10 bulbs into the daytime running lights, okay? Other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know and we will be more than happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.